Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over the spear and how to deal with all of its uh, quirks and stuff. The spear is one of the strongest, if not the strongest weapons in the game. So you're going to need all the help you can get when it comes to actually putting up with it. I'm here with my boy Rabbit today, a spear enthusiast. Say hi, Rabbit. Hi, Rabbit. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just get started. So, one of the first things with the spear that makes it incredibly difficult to fight against is just how much range it has. This is the longest weapon in the game, and so it can be very hard to close the distance and actually get hits in when you're using a shorter weapon, or even just any moderately uh, sized two-handed weapon. So, I'm going to have Rabbit go ahead and try and push me, so go ahead and try and push me, Rabbit. And you're going to see that it's very difficult for him to get in and close the distance. He's trying to get close here, and now he's finally close enough to attack, but... Even then, it took like a few hits before he's even to get close. And uh, that was him just literally holding WM1 Pyro while, you know, using his block. And he still couldn't get in close enough. And so it can be, you know, like, just how, how do you do, deal with that? You know, you're taking too much stamina damage. Or if you're not blocking, you're just taking a lot of damage in general. And so the main thing that you have to do is you have to counter. While you're pressuring the spear, you have to be countering these attacks while you close the distance because when you block an attack you take knockback so you're gonna see right here when rabbit pushes me go ahead and push me right he takes knockback whenever he gets hit but if he counters me while pushing me so go ahead now and counter me while you push me he can close the distance easily and i had to block there because otherwise i would have been hit so you can turn like you know a two to two to four hit like segment where you have to take two or four hits before you close the distance to a complete one hit segment and not only will you get closer in a shorter amount of time, but you'll also gain stamina from countering and you'll get all the juicy benefits of that. So, uh, to summarize, you need to close the distance by countering the attacks while you're pushing. And that can be pretty difficult in the fight. So, if you want to know an easy way to counter the spear, one thing to know is that the spear actually only has two attacks when it comes to the attacks that you counter. Normally, when you counter in this game, you counter with an overhead, a slash, or a stab. But with the spear... Its slash attack is just another stab, or another form of stab. So, when it comes to actually countering it, you can actually counter it by stabbing. So, go ahead and counter these two moves. This is a stab. And this is a slash. And so, you can see that it's slightly different in terms of the actual animation. But, they can both be countered with a stab. And then the overhead, obviously, can be countered with an overhead. Go ahead and counter this rabbit. So... When it comes to Rabbit actually pushing me, he's going to have an easier time landing counters because he only has to focus on trying to counter two different types of attacks. That being either stab or overhead, compared to a normal weapon that isn't a spear-like weapon, which he would obviously have to worry about countering three different types of attacks. Which is especially difficult because the slash and overhead with some weapons looks very similar. But with this weapon, obviously, the overhead yeah. looks significantly different yeah. from the stab, making it incredibly easy to tell the difference and properly counter while pushing up. So that's one way that you can really pressure the spear and get, you know, that distance closed much easier than normal. The next thing I'd like to cover is blocking, uh, not blocking, sorry, the stab turn cap. The stab, cur the, the stab turn cap is actually, like, pretty tight, uh, and that's because it was recently nerfed, meaning that... The turn cap, right, how fast you can turn your screen while stabbing, is really, really slow compared to most weapons. And that will allow Rabbit to sort of, you know, run around me and kind of outpace my stabs when he's moving. So if he's very close like this, right, when I try and stab Rabbit, he can sort of dodge around my stabs faster than I can stab. Now, sometimes I'll be able to properly track him, but you can see here, I'm turning as hard as I can. And he's still outpacing me sometimes. And so that's... Obviously, with my, you know, like, years of experience properly tracking people uh, with turn cap, and it's still very difficult for me. So, this obviously does not apply when they're using a different type of weapon. You'll see, like, with a knife, I can sort of just swing around in circles, and even if I do stab, the turn cap is much more lenient. But with the spear, it's very strict, meaning that against very bad players, they will often miss you. Because when they're trying to track you with their attacks, then it's very easy for you to avoid it. Now, obviously, the further you are, the less this is going to affect them, and the closer you are, the more severe their turn cap is going to be. But the closer uh, you get, it's going to be more difficult for them, and they're going to have a harder time actually hitting you. And they may have to just pull out the secondary if uh, if it's really that bad, or you can just completely exploit them and, uh, and hurt them as much as you want. 